Hi, it's Thad with Willoway. It's August 8th. I um, wanted to talk today a little bit about some of the plants uh, and what we're doing at the nursery. We have a lot of preparation for next year, so we have a lot of canning going on right now um, and getting plants ready for next year. Behind me, we've got our sedum crop for next spring, um, getting those started, getting them well rooted in. Um, that's a pretty critical function right now is to get everything established going into winter so we can put it away and wake up in the spring ready to go and ship out to all our customers. So we're really monitoring water and managing water on these. We're still running nutrients, um, but we'll be slowing up on the nutrients here. All our new canning by mid-August is gonna be, we'll stop with the nutrients. We'll use liquid feed for the rest of the year. Uh, but we really want them to kind of start to harden off too as we move in towards fall here a little bit. Um, some of the things about growing degree days, uh, we're at 1890. Um, interesting, 2190 uh, we were last year at this time, so we're 300 degree days difference from last year. Um, and that kind of goes with the weather we've had. We've been having much more cooler weather this year, and it's also been a little bit, um, we've had more rain, um, timely rains. We did have a period early on that we had 24 days of drought here, but recently in August here and in July, we've had really good rains. Um, our ponds that we recapture are all stocked up really well. Um, so we've really been fortunate in that regards. Um, the other thing is, is coming up at 1920 is Mimosa webworm, the second generation hatch. And then also at um, Euonymus scale, um, second generation hatch happens. So you'll be wanting to watch for those. And then we have Magnolia scale. Um, egg hatch at 1938. Um, I am hearing that there's already some hatch going on and crawlers out there in magnolias. So if you have magnolias, this is a really great time to scout for them and see if you have live scale, look for those crawlers and start to uh, do treatments for them. Uh, we've already started here at the nursery. Um, it's something that you want to really watch for. It's a, this is a hard one to get under control if you don't get the right time and the sprays on the right timing. So, um, other than that, um, we are seeing stuff start to kind of shut down a little bit or kind of start to go to a little bit slow down in their growth. So you will see some imperfections in some of the leaves. Um, we're also going to start changing up our nutrient load. So we'll be looking at more potassium here going into the fall, more calcium upping those, backing down on the nitrates. So um, really critical to make sure we're not overgrowing these plants going into the winter and getting them ready to come out in the spring strong. Hope this helps. Have a great day.